Hello guys and welcome back to Tech in Our Rec. So we're going to go through today my Samsung, that was loud, Tab S6 Lite. Um, I've had this guy for about three months now and um, yeah, I thought I'd give you my opinion and whether it's worth picking up still in 2021. So firstly, the build quality. I'm very pleased with the build. It's, um, it is very sexy, as if tablets can be sexy, but it's um, I'd say it's comparable to the iPad Air 4 in terms of the small bezels and the aluminium frame, or aluminium, as uh, Flossie Carter likes to say. I always have to shout out Flossie Carter. He's just a cool man. And um, obviously you get the magnetic S Pen, which is a nice touch as well. And um, I'd say the build quality, it's on par with more expensive tablets like the other S6 tablets, um, the S7 range of Samsung's, um, and also the iPad Air 4, as I said, the iPad Pro. Um, it is nicer than the iPad 8th Gen, as it has smaller bezels, but the iPad 8th Gen, it does have a higher resolution screen and some other features that we'll, we'll get into in a bit. to the screen it's um, an AMOLED screen it has great colors and contrast um, it's, it's a full HD panel and um, it's fine for the price there is no HDR support in Netflix um, Disney Plus or YouTube and other streaming sites but the, the screen quality is, is really nice the video playback it's full HD obviously and the AMOLED screen gives it punchy colors nice blacks and um for the money you know it, it's it's worth it um i don't think you'll be disappointed compared to more expensive tablets obviously you get what you pay for if you spend more you'll get a, a better screen like a 2k or um even 4k screen but not many have 4k but some devices do okay on to battery so battery life has been a good solid 10 hours so up there with um an ipad really i'd say it's definitely hard to kill um i've used this for video editing um light gaming and web browsing in a day and yeah you're not really reaching for the charger until bedtime um one thing about the charger though you do only get a seven um watt charger in the box which is samsung cheaping out a bit um, because the device can charge at 15 watts so if you charge with this guy it takes four hours whereas um, a 15 watt charger is it's around just over two hours um, but yeah battery is pretty solid for the money again okay performance so I've had no issues with performance for my needs um, like I said I've edited 4k video in uh, Kinemaster and UCut Android apps. Um, the 
gaming is good, um, at medium to high settings in Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG. It can run Asphalt 9 well, which is a demanding game. So a few frame drops straight away guys, but you know that it handles well this game. Well it's, it's a driving game, but oh, sorry for how to play it. Yeah, definitely capable of playing a lot of games, um, you know if you're just chilling out on the sofa or whatever you know you can, you can get some stuff done guys okay so we'll do a bit of multitasking so we'll get into chrome and um okay i was just checking out a review in the uk so yeah this device was 350 um english pounds when it came out last year and like i said i paid about 250 for it so you know, it's not too bad at all. So um, let's do some split screens. So we'll have Chrome and then we'll have YouTube when we can. So that was a little bit of lag, guys. Don't get that often, to be honest. Okay, so you could be watching a tech video here and then browsing the web. So yeah, the speakers are loud, guys. Well, everyone, the question that I've been getting so many times, actually not really, but the question I want to answer is what was my favorite iPhone I ever used? I'm okay, so, honest, yeah, like I say, you know, nice and easy to use. And um, let's do some Samsung decks. Okay, so for this, we'll plug in um, my Logitech keyboard. So this is a full-size keyboard. Um, this USB-C dongle, um, it's from my Pixel 4a, actually. It came in the box. It's like the data transfer dongle, I suppose. So I'll get my keyboard over, guys. Okay, so, you know, it's a good tool for, for work or probably students really, you know, so um, I can open up a document here. Um, this is my work keyboard and mouse. Um, so yeah, I can't see any lag or anything compared to when I use it on my work laptop. So I'll just do a little test. You can see there I'm typing fast. Um, yep, so nice and responsive. And um, what else could we do? So you can get Office on it. I think I showed this in a previous video. I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest, um, because you can get Docs and Sheets, like the Spreadsheets app. Um, anyway for Google so you know it's not really needed but yeah just a quick demonstration guys um, you know it can work great with a full-size mouse and keyboard okay so the S Pen uh, I've not really used it a lot in my time with it um, it is nice as you know just another way of navigating um, you can still use the gesture based controls as you probably saw earlier on as well um, and uh, my son's used it mainly he's a, a budding digital artist really so he uses pen up and he's, he's created some nice um, bits of art in here as well when we get in so so yeah he's, he's drawn this a little princess and him and his cousin actually have been colouring it in so you know it's um 
like I say, I don't really do much art myself, but he does love it. Um, I think he he's gonna get the iPad um, eighth gen soon. We'll we'll get him that because he's really got into digital art, and I believe the Procreate app is a bit superior to some of the S Pen apps. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've not used it much, but you know, it's a nice tool to have. Um, when I have used it, I've um, it's it's good for precision in video editing, for instance. And um, when you're trying to like pick within the the video stream, like your timestamp, it, it's easier than using your finger sometimes. Okay, so we'll talk about its direct rivals. So the iPad 8th Gen is probably the one that the S6 Lite is going up against mostly. Um, as we said earlier, the S6 Lite is, is thinner and lighter than the iPad 8th Gen. And it has smaller bezels. Um, it's also cheaper. It comes in it, as I say, at the moment, two fifty to two eighty. Um, and the iPad eighth gen is three two nine for the thirty two gig and four two nine for the hundred and twenty eight gig model. I wouldn't recommend a thirty two gig tablet in twenty twenty one. I think you've really got to go for that hundred and twenty eight gig if you, if you're getting one. Um, the iPad does have the iPhone XS's A12 Bionic chip, so it's you know a two-year flagship chip, and it's going to be much more powerful than the Samsung. Um, so if you wanted something for your your schoolwork, or I'm interested in getting an iPad for Luma Fusion for uh, video editing on the iPad, you know I think that would be a stronger chipset. Um, you're going to get better performance out of it but you've got the trade-off as we said it's um, more expensive the screen is a better resolution on the iPad but um, and if you want the Apple Pencil it's the first gen one and it's $100 so then you're into like $530 whereas you get the pen for free with this guy so you know if you're not mega if you want to try out a pen and have a bit of a play and maybe do some art and you know just have another way to navigate this might be the better better option okay and then another rival um is a, another samsung the tab s5e which have featured on the channel before so the s5e has quad speakers which are louder and better quality it has a 2k screen and that tablet as again i showed on my previous video is paper thin compared to this this is a nice thin tablet but that one is it's like a piece of paper. Well, it's not like a piece of paper, but it's very thin in comparison. And um, it's got, yeah, those quad AKG speakers on the S5e. Um, and you could probably get it for similar money at the moment, around, yeah, $250, $300, I'd say, for the S5e. Um, so if you were into media consumption and gaming, you might want the S5e because that 2K screen it is a lot nicer and the quad speakers are louder and, and better quality okay so to summarize i still think the s6 Lite is a great budget it's a mid-range tablet in 2021 and if you can buy it for around the 250 dollars mark you're definitely getting a great device the 64 gig of storage model which is the one i've got um, you can easily expand it up to one terabyte with um, a micro sd card so you know you're getting a lot of storage really for not a lot of money um you could get a 256 gig card which is you know going to be a, a fair size and i think they're only about 20 dollars at the moment so yeah i'd definitely definitely recommend it to you guys so hit me up in the comments guys um tell me what you think about this one if you have any questions around the s6 Lite, i'm here to help you as always um I do get a lot of questions around my Pixel 4a and um, if you've seen on my videos I'm always quick to come back in the comments so yeah you know I, I'm here to help you uh, make your uh, decisions on how to spend your money tech wise uh, you know if I can help in any way hit me up in the comments guys take care <laughs>